Hey there guys, what is up? It's me, Riley, and I have a question for you guys. How many of you guys want to read a weird story? And not like weird how my polka pasta was weird, but like weird in the fact that it's just odd. So this book was made by my nine-year-old self, and it has only nine pages in it, and it's called Peppy which is a very strange name. It's named after the protagonist. I don't know. I read through it once, and I'm like, what is this? And so I figured, you know, folk pasta was a little intense. So how about we just do a single episode little reading of a weird piece of literature from my childhood? Mmm. <clears throat> Peppy. Got a little, little stick guy on the front. Got a little stick Peppy. Peppy was a child with 10 health points. That's already kind of strange off the bat, right? Like, is this a video game? He has 10 health points. That's all we know. Peppy did not have an iPhone. An iPhone. So he lost one life. Oh, well, the rip. Peppy. Uh, he's not obviously that happy about it. He seems to be lightly adjusting his collar. If you lost a tenth of your life force, you think the reaction would be a little stronger than just, whew. Man, those are a couple years of my life that I'll never have back or will be spent in illness and misery. Oof. <sighs> Peppy was on his way and found he had no computer or laptop. So he lost one life. Where is Peppy going to? It says Peppy was on his way and then nothing else. It's just Peppy was on his way. And then he found out he had no computer or laptop. Are you just discovering this now, Peppy? Have you been living with yourself for, we can assume Peppy was my age, nine years, right? You've been living with yourself for nine years and you don't know that you have a computer or a laptop. It just kind of hits you while you're walking down the middle of the street like an M. Night Shyamalan movie. Peppy couldn't get his allowance for the next three weeks due to budget cuts by the governor. He lost four lives in the course of this time. Dang, Peppy. Peppy is not okay with that. He is, he's got like one eye that's like completely shot out. And his mouth, like, have you seen the episode of the X-Files with like the worm man? Where he's like half man, half like tapeworm and he's got like, kind of mouth. That, that's what that's what Peppy looks like right there, that's what it reminds me of. Almost out of lives, because he's a cat or something, Peppy was pushed to the limit! So, at midnight, Peppy got his dad's credit card. He went to Billy's house and got plastic surgery to pass as an adult. Wow, a whole lot of stuff just went down right there. Hang on, let's, let's, let's peel that back here. Okay, so Peppy stole his dad's credit card. Alright, that could be like a children's story in and of itself, the story of how he like stole his credit card. He went to his friend Billy's house, so he has a friend Billy now, and he got plastic surgery to pass as an adult. As his story goes on, it doesn't say that he went to a professional or something, it's implied that Peppy did it to himself. Like, it's like that scene from Prometheus, where she like did surgery on herself. That's what Peppy was doing! Peppy's a freaking like, he's a god! Good grief. Peppy took advantage of his surgery, who wouldn't, and grabbed his dad's driver's license and went to the new Walmart located three miles away. Why would you even bother with the driver's license? I mean, you got plastic surgery to look like an adult, so you look like an older version of yourself, not necessarily your dad. So if you got pulled over, it'd in fact probably be more suspicious if they checked your license and registration and it wasn't you, it was your dad. Aren't you like bleeding internally at this point? Like, how are you driving? Peppy bought all the technology available in stock and created and crested not created crested a Facebook account on the way home he stopped at Billy's again and had more surgery done to make him a kid again cuz you know gotta undo the damage you did the wounds haven't even healed at this point just kind of put it back the way it was loopy from waking up from anesthesia Peppy crawls back to his house yeah Peppy you underwent like serious like life-changing surgery twice in a period of like an hour with no anesthesia self-performed like at someone's house his dad's a plastic surgeon by the way like it's, it, it isn't said but i think it's implied that his dad's a plastic surgeon but i think it's almost funnier if he just went to his friend's billy's house and was like i guess i can do it here and then like just sat on the kitchen counter with a carving knife just going at his face peppy was eating cereal when his dad cringed opening the credit card bill oh my gosh i used the word cringe before it became a meme let's hope billy's dad doesn't talk to peppy's dad about why his tools were left out in the morning that's all, folks. And that's Peppy. That's it. That's all. That's all, folks. That's it. We're done. That was the entirety of Peppy. Like, what was going on in my head when I made this? Is this supposed to be satirical? Is this supposed to be funny? Like, I feel like I may have made it as like a statement on my 
parents because they like wouldn't let me get a Facebook back then, and uh, like I didn't have a laptop and stuff like that. So it was probably just bratty nine-year-old me being like, "Ah, oh, look, Peppy, look what he did, ha ha!" And it it doesn't make sense. It's dumb. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that acid trip as much as I did. That was strange. Stay positive and have an awesome day. <laughs> James Hurley.